that good-looking young fella? <laughs> Just kidding. It's me. Did you race in the Fast Forward Derby too, Grandpa? I sure did. 62 years ago tomorrow, to be exact. And not only did I race, I won. Wow, Grandpa, that's so cool! Grandpa was pretty awesome. So, Dad, you don't still have the scooter, do you? You kidding? <laughs> of course I do. You mean that flower pot over there? So it needs a little work. No big deal, kiddo. Together, we'll get this old school scooter back into shape so it can start and finish the race. Man, who knows? Maybe we'll even win. Can we really? Let's do it. That's it, Llama Llama. Slow and steady. Uh, okay, maybe not so steady. I've never given a scooter a bath before, Grandpa. <laughs> Wow, Grandpa, that looks good. Good? How about great? <laughs> Racing's all about confidence, Mama. Mama. Confidence and a signature move. I call mine the Llama Drift. A scooter. Way to go, Llama Llama. You did it. We did it, Grandpa. All of us, together. And most importantly, it was fun. Here's something that is sure to put you over the top as you race. Your helmet and goggles? Wow! Thanks, Grandpa. Of course, kiddo. Now let's do this. <laughs> Take, Take our, our picture, picture too. too. After we collect fruit, can we maybe go for a quick swim? Oh, oh yes. yes. Are we going into the ocean? Not today. I want to show you our favorite swimming place. Up the hill! It's probably not surprising that this is called Twisty Road. And it's getting pretty high. It is. Probably the highest hill we've ever been on. Another first. Wow! You can also see my house from here. And the pond. Oh, we used to call it Cold Pond. We still do. And it's still cold. Go, Grandpa! Go! Oh, 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 cold. Huh, but refreshing. I'll show you the best place to get into the pond. It's warmer here. Just do it like this. Wow! It should be called really cold pond. There's a picture in your mama's diary here at the pond. So we have to take one too, Llama Llama. You're right. Want to take it? Now that was a great dinner. Oh, thanks, Cousin Llama and Libby. Thanks. So good. Mama, you told me so many stories about visiting here and having dinner on this porch, and going to the beach, and Drippy Tunnel. <laughs> and my dad told me so many stories about visiting your town. It was so big to him. I think both this island and our town are magical places for our family. I think you're right, Graham. And all magical places need a magical tune. Yeah! <laughs> oh, it's time for bed, Llama. Whoa! It really swings. It hurts.
hardly swings at all when you're sleeping. I promise. Okay. I've just never slept anywhere like this before. I know, sweetie. It is very different than home or when you sleep over at Graham's house. I think this friend will help you. Hmm? Yeah! Hi, Fuzzy. We never slept in a hammock before, outside, away from home. It's a first, for sure, and part of the vacation adventure. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, that's Chirpy, the mockingbird. She talks a lot. Say good night, Chirpy. <laughs> good night. Good night, Llama Llama. Pancakes in the morning. Then maybe Chirpy Tunnel then. Oh, you're already asleep. We're making pancakes on a stick. Want to help? Uh huh. And guess what? We're going to eat them at the beach. Yes. Beach breakfast! Another first, right, Llama Llama? This is like our beach breakfast from when we were kids. Pancakes on a stick with blueberries. Yum. Mm. Yum. Mm. Mm. Right? Very good. Look, the sun is starting to rise. Let's do our countdown. Come on, son, show your face. Eight, seven, seven six, six, five, five don't, don't hide. Four, three, two, one. There's the sun. Woo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you hear the ocean in it? Listen. Hmm. I do. <sighs> I think I get what island time is now. It's, it's the, the best. best. <laughs> I think you got most of the pictures your mama has in her photo diary, Llama. Oh, but you still have to see Drippy Tunnel. Is Drippy Tunnel even real? <laughs> oh, it's real, and it is Drippy. This is definitely a first. Is it okay to be in here? It is, Llama. Just watch the drips. It's just water. This looks like your grandma and grandpa's house. Yeah! You're right, Professor Beatrice. Let's go! Hi, Gram. Hi, Grandpa. We're Billy and Millie Scarecrow. From Story Island. The twisty maze. Oh. Hmm. Which way should we go? That <laughs> way. <laughs> Think about the book. Wait. In the book, it said to find the clues. Line up the shoes. That's it, Professor. We start here. Professor, and thank you, Millie and Billy Scarecrow. This is the most fun I've ever had from a book. Where do we go next? Bird Hill. Where is that, Explorer Edwin? Bird Hill was on the side of Story Island with all the trees and grass. Oh, right. Well, that sounds like the park. See any unusual birds, Professor Beatrice? Nah, maybe one weird blue jay I've never seen before. Have a look, Explorer Edwin. I see something near that tree. Mama? Hi, kids. I mean. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Are you Florence Feathers, the magical bird? That's right, I am. You'll find your next clue in the air. Watch the feathers, please, with care. Hmm. Watch the feathers. Huh? Here's the clue. And the sticker. Hmm. My professor brain tells me this looks like an X. This map smells really sweet. 
You're right, Doctor. Like, perfume. Just like in Story Island. Remember the clue hidden in the flower field? How will we find an X? It could be anywhere. Maybe we're too far away. Or maybe too close? That's it! Back up, everyone! <gasps> I see it, Dr. Popter and Explorer Edwin. I get it. Purple is Explorer Edwin's favorite color. But where's the clue? Maybe the clue is in the X. Life jackets? Where can you use life jackets? As a doctor, I think it's the pond. Hey, this is just like Turnabout Lake from Story Island. Let's explore. Hello, seafaring mates. I'm Fisherman Frank. Come on in, let's go fishing. <laughs> Hi, Fisherman Frank. Do we need bait? Not for this hook. Holler if you think you caught something. Got it! <gasps> the golden wristband of goodness! We found it! Yay! You sure did. Uh, but wait. In Story Island, it says that the golden wristband must be earned by doing good deeds. You're right, Professor. Okay, what good deed can we do? We're just some kids who checked a book out of the library. Oh, the library! I was going to help Lenora today. Is that a good deed, Mama? 